Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have AMD announcing their Ryzen 7000 system bundle promotion where you can save a lot of money. AOK Zo A1 gaming console to feature 8 core AMD Ryzen 7 7735U APU and lastly Alish AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D gaming benchmarks has been leaked. So first up we have Amazon uh, basically giving this bundle offer well not only amazon we will be seeing a new egg and also another uh micro center i believe that is also the case that they're bundling this offer and this is an, an initiative from amd where as you can see that amd ryzen 7950x is coming with asus rog strix x670 e gaming which again the price was according to amazon price listing was 1298.99 but now you can get it for 1069 so a substantial price decrease there same goes for the 7950x with the asus crosshair x670e was around 1500 usds but now you can get it for 1240 and similar pricing as you can see that there's a significant drop in pricing only with the bundled motherboards we're looking at and as you can see there are more gigabyte gigabyte bundle offers as you can see those were the asus this is what, this is for the gigabyte and they're also bundling uh b650 motherboards as you can see and there's a one x670 here and there is some significant price drop here that you can get which is a nice initiative you can save up a lot of money only if you're buying you know the a new processor from 7000 series but obviously when you're buying a new processor you might need a new motherboard right so i think this is not a bad idea even at new egg we're looking the similar case here uh, 7900x getting sold well in this case this is a single so that's kind of a good deal like if you want just a single processor you can get it and it, you can stay a hundred dollars here for the 7900x not a bad deal i have to say same goes for the 7700X. Uh, you can also save here 12 percent saving. So hey, these are these are good. I'm not gonna lie. These are pretty good. Even for the 7600X, you're getting at 245, which is again like not a not a crazy drop, but still like uh, considering the 245 compared to 299. That's quite a lot for the 7600X. We also got 5600 drop in price, 149. That's probably the cheapest I've seen for the 5600. So what a deal, I have to say. That's quite nice. And of course, the 5800X3D, the most popular uh, X3D uh, processor. Well, obviously the previous generation, 348 compared to 449. So there's $100 price decrease. So these, these uh, deals are not bad. Like they can save a lot of money even for the micro center we have this pricing we're looking at 7900x coming at 446 you can save 103 dollars here and we'll set 5800x you can save up to 215 dollars because it's selling at 234 so that's quite a lot even for the 5800x 3d you can save up to 150 dollars even more than uh basically amos are new egg i should say so that's quite a drop there 5600x coming at 164 that also 135 dollars decrease huge and the 7700x not a huge drop 57 dollars but still uh you know if you prefer going for the 7000 series you can go for that so yeah there's some serious drop in price in amazon new egg and micro center so you might want to get those deals quick and asap because these these are pretty good deals next up we have aok zo a1 world's first amd well right this is the seven months old the a1 which was the 6800u handheld but they also have another version here that has been spotted in in geekbench so if you look into it, this is the aok zo a1 ar07 which is getting in single core score of 1268 uh, or 1468 my, i beg your pardon and the multi-core of 6855 and if you look into it it's going to be supporting amd ryzen 7 7735u which is an 8 core 16 thread processor the base frequency 2.7 and the max is 4.79 which is not bad like it's i, I don't know if it's 8 core 16 thread is overkill or not because I, I think it's kind of overkill for a handheld but then again more juice more performance i'm gonna be not complaining about that but uh this is going to be coming from aok zo i don't know if i'm spelling that right 
because you know a o k and then z o e anyway it doesn't matter but yeah it's gonna be coming with the ryzen 7 7735u and this is the performance we're looking at only the cpu benchmark for now uh we don't know how the uh a well the gpu works because it's an apu right so we need to see how the gaming benchmarks are for this model of a o k so because the previous model model was a 6800u but they changed it basically and now they're going for the Ryzen 7 7735U. Or maybe they didn't change. They have this another variant, I guess. But uh, 7735U is better than the 6800U. Because it is better. Because the you know newer generation of APU. So I guess it should be better. And well, it's going to become releasing soon enough, I guess. Next up, we have Chill E Dog posted this. and Or tweeted this in Twitter, basically. And it says 7950X 3D game FPS versus 7950X versus the i9-3900K. So there is the... Well, they're testing the 7950X here, basically. And we also have the test result for the 7950X 3D. As you can see right there which is getting 37,973 points, which is significantly better, right? I mean, not significantly, it's close, but it's still better, obviously. And we also have some gaming tests. So basically, that's uh, the most, uh, the grayish one is the Ryzen 9 7950X, the blue is the Ryzen 9 7950X, and the dark blue is the i9 3900k so we're looking at assassin's creed valhalla ultra graphics and it's reaching 149 that's quite massive 110 which is the 3900k and the 7950x which is 107 149 that's a massive jump in performance i have to say this is a huge jump and well i believe this is tested on the rtx 3090 if i'm not wrong right there that's right rtx 3090 at 1080p so yeah it, it is tested on 30, rtx 3090 so yeah that's quite a huge uh, leap here i have to say comparing comparing to the 3900k so that's quite nice even in far Cry 5 ultra there's uh, still quite a lot 240 to 215 i mean considering this is not a huge leap but still considering this there's a 25 fps lead here so not still not bad 25 fps is not small it's quite big uh here there's a, a margin gets lower in the shadow of the time right home rider uh highest settings we're getting 249 and versus the 225 in the cry 9 3900k i'm not comparing the uh ryzen 9 7950x because obviously it's going to be better right for ryzen 9 7950x 3d so not surprised in metro exodus uh extreme settings however the Test results are kind of weird because if there's literally not so much. Again, this is a ray traced, ultimate ray tracing, so I, I can I can see why the numbers are really low, but still playable. You know, 1080p is uh, still playable, but uh, yeah, the, there's a not a huge leap there. And of course, in Star Control, great performance. We don't really have a huge jump, like four FPS increase for the uh, i9 3900K, but still not a huge leap there. But if we consider these three results, it seems like uh, X3D parts are working their charms, basically. Like, especially in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that's a huge leap there. And others, same. Like, that's not bad, <laughs> really. I wonder what 3900K S will have to offer against the 750 X3D, because obviously we know that's coming. And I believe that is going to give some competition there. Ultimately, the pricing would be the most important thing, also the thermals that we need to consider. Alright, that is it for today. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed that analysis. There's some crazy performance coming in. We don't still don't know that this is exactly the you know actual performance or a made up, but I don't think this is made up. You know, because people get tends to you know, get hands with these early samples, and I believe they're getting them and you know, well benchmarking them basically. And I believe uh, X3D parts will be this you know competitive. Because we need them. And X3D, well, 5800 X3D never disappointed. I hope that 7000 X3D will also not disappoint.